What I'm holding in my hands right now is the Sigma 200-500mm f2.8 APO EXDG and it is the world's first ultra telephoto zoom lens that offers a maximum aperture of f2.8 at a 500mm focal length. Now if you want to buy this lens it's going to set you back about, I don't know, 15 grand. So for some reason Sigma have trusted us with this lens so we've taken it to the most stabby part of our hometown to take some photos. I mean, what could go wrong? First introduced into the world in 2008, this lens is now 13 years old, but it's still a pretty incredible piece of technology. The lens has its own LCD panel that indicates the current zoom and focus distance. The lens elements in this thing are so large that both the focus and zoom mechanisms are driven using its own internal battery powered motor, which is whisper quiet. And it also has a rear drop-in filter compartment that accepts 72mm filters. Just in case 500mm wasn't long enough in terms of focal length for you, then this lens also comes included with an attachable 2 times teleconverter, which effectively transforms it into a 400 to 1000mm lens at f5.6, while still maintaining autofocus. Well, I mean it would do if we were shooting with a Canon DSLR, as this version that we're shooting with has an EF mount, but seeing as we're using my Sony a7 Mark III, and we for some reason can't get the AF to play ball, we're stuck with manual focus only. And if you're wondering how we mounted my Sony to this thing in the first place, Sigma kindly supplied the lens to us with their MC11 Canon EF to E mount converter. Although my uh, ripped physique makes light work of holding this lens, for regular people this thing is pretty unwieldy, weighing in at 15.7 kilograms or 553.7 ounces. Obviously this means that using a tripod is pretty much mandatory, however I've come up with a much better solution. Yeah, this is working like a treat, boys. No worries. This is f***ing degrading. Oi, enough out of you. Shooting at the 200mm end at f2.8, we were able to get some lovely headshots of KT with nice creamy bokeh in the background. But let's be honest, we're not here to shoot at 200mm, we're here to see what this thing can do at the 500mm end, right? Well, at the long end, the lens is just as sharp and the bokeh is only more intensified by the longer focal length. This can be seen slightly better in this half portrait of KT where the background just looks so intensely soft and dreamy. Even with a full body shot at f2.8, the background blur is still super intense and it just gives the image a unique look that I've never really seen before with any of the lens I've tested. But before you click away, we're not quite done here yet because don't forget this lens comes with a 2 times teleconverter that allows us to shoot at a whopping 1000mm at f5.6. Now obviously shooting a full body shot at 1000mm means that Katie has to be pretty far away from me which makes communication between us fairly difficult. But it's all good because I came up with a foolproof solution. This is Girthy Boy to flash flashlight. Could you get Katie to move to her right a little bit please mate. So, hey Katie, she's moved to the right a little bit. Cool, okay, thanks. So it turns out that Katie needed to stand approximately 90 metres away from me in order to get a full body shot at 1000 millimetres. So that means if the size and weight of this lens didn't already make it an impractical choice, well uh, I think that'll just about do it. Reducing the aperture to f5.6 obviously is going to take a toll on the bokeh and it now doesn't look quite as smooth as it did before, but still for an 1000 millimetre lens I'm still pretty impressed. Technically though, we can go one step further, as my camera has a super 35mm crop setting, which, when activated, would give me an effective focal length of 1600mm. Now trying to manually focus at 1600mm is pretty tricky, so do forgive me for the slightly out of focus shot here, but hopefully this should give you an idea of what this thing is capable of. As much as it's a pain in the ass to lug around and focus with, there's definitely something really special about this lens, and for me personally, I cannot wait wait for Sigma to bring out their DGDN version. <sighs> yeah, that's probably not going to happen, is it? But we can dream. We, we can dream. Shut up, tripod. Come on. <laughs> degrading. Wait. Enough out of you. I can't, I can't make it. <laughs> go again, I'm go inching go. closer to his nuts. 